All right, it's your old pal Captain Bilgewater here. Just want to talk a little bit about people get confused about core, balsa core, plywood. Why is it plywood? Why is it core? Generally speaking, with core situations like this flybridge we're working on here, you want to use core, either balsa core, or we're stepping up modern technology here. We're going to use this core cell. Uh, same thing as balsa, really. It's it's uh, scored same way. Scored actually a little bit more. It's a, it's a triple cut uh, foam as opposed to uh, the balsa core is really a single cut. Um, the only thing about this stuff here, supposedly, is uh, it's going to resist water intrusion. But we'll see about that. Uh, it's just as expensive as the core. There really is not much difference in the price between uh, the core cell and the balsa core. But getting back to the plywood, the deal with the plywood is, is anywhere you got to screw something down, you're going to need plywood. You can't screw into balsa core, even though people try, and your old pal Bilgewater's tried too, uh, and you can't screw into the, to the foam. So that's why you're going to see this mixture of core and plywood. We can see the plywood right here. Now, my problem with the situation here is, is like, for example, this piece of plywood right here, there is nothing being screwed into that. They're just carrying it over from a large section uh, where they had plywood. So you can see here on this recording we're doing here, if we can just sneak under there, well, I'm not sure, but you can see the wood. We had to lay wood down because it's going to be a flybridge seat that's going to be screwed in there. But we tried to be as judicious as we could. Uh, on how much wood we're going to use, how much plywood we're going to use. So you can see this plywood here, it, uh, it was not bonded. Once it gets wet with the plywood, it loses its ability to bond. So it's not bonded. Once it's not bonded, you're pretty much losing the structural strength that it has. Again, as we've talked about before, unless you're willing to cut it open and deal with it, leave it alone. Don't, don't pour epoxy in there or, or try measures like that. It really doesn't seem to solve the problem. Uh, just leave it alone. Nothing really bad is going to happen. It's just a little springy. That's all. But that's the deal. That's why you're going to see this mixture of plywood and balsa core uh, because theoretically where the plywood is, uh, that's where they're going to be screwing in. And you can see right here is where a stanchion base is. So next up we're going to cut that and see what the deal is. Probably that's where most of the water was coming from, the intrusion was right there, right that maybe right there. So that's the deal. That's it for now. And remember, the old navigational adage, no matter where you go, there you are.